Welcome back to Everyday Hockey, presented by DraftKings, the leader in daily fantasy sport. Don't forget to use promo code THPN upon sign up for a bonus. And if you're a regular user, plug that promo code in for a weekly deal. Today, we talk about the NHL's buyout window opening, and we're each going to cover a player or two. Let's get to the nitty gritty. All right, Dylan, we're each going to just cover two potential names. We don't want this to be a 15 minute long video. Uh, let's start with one of yours first. Yeah, so I'm going to start off with Martin Jones of the San Jose surprise, Sharks. Surprise, surprise. This one hits close to home <laughs> for me uh, because I host the Stick Hungry podcast covering the San Jose Sharks on the Hockey Podcast Network. Uh, Martin Jones, yeah, it's inevitable. This guy's going to get bought out. His salary right now, $5.75 million for Martin Jones. Over the last three seasons, a save percentage of 896. 896 every season that's not an average he literally had that every single season uh goals against average last year 3.28 uh the san jose sharks will save 3.7 million dollars if they do buy out martin jones which opens up the door to another goaltender which this team desperately needs you know based on his statistics the last few years dylan and the amount he makes i mean i don't have a bucket near me i almost puked yeah i mean he's overpaid by let's see he makes 5.75 overpaid by about five million <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Martin Jones is the first on your list. Uh, the first on my list, Eric Johnson. Former first overall pick in, tw in 2006 to the St. Louis Blues. Not a bad player by any means. I don't think he developed into that projected, you know, first overall, like, top defender. He was drafted as a defensive guy first because that's where he made his mark in junior and in development. He's faced concussion issues for the last few seasons. He's not on LTIR right now, so he's not ex exempt from the expansion draft. But it looks like, you know, with a $6 million cap it for the next two years, he only played a total of four games this season due to just complications there. I want to think that Eric Johnson still can be a serviceable defenseman. And hell, when he's healthy, he can be. But at that price point of $6 million and you have so much offense and other defensemen driving the offense for that Colorado Avalanche team, it's just it's just not worth it at the end of the day. And, and look at the age of the player, right? Coming back from concussion issues like that, coming back from missing a lot of games. Like you said, only played four games last year. That's going to be tough for a guy who's in his mid-30s. Yeah, 33 turning 34 years old. Again, not a $6 million player at, at this stage you know, for his value and for his output still a very serviceable guy if he can be healthy um he only had another note he only had a high of 39 points in his entire nhl career he did hit that mark 39 he didn't break 40 <laughs> 39 on three separate occasions but again look at the young town that's been in front of him whether the colorado avalanche have been successful or not his entire career so i think he's going to be bought out this this season all right my next one jake vertanen from the vancouver canucks he has one year left at 2.55 million dollars uh so jake vertanen was placed on leave may 1st for an alleged sexual abuse uh, case from 2017 so he has not he's been on leave from the Vancouver Canucks and I think it's fairly obvious at this point there's no future uh, for Jake Vertanen in Vancouver so I do think he'll be bought out next season it's only a cap hit of $50,000 and then the year after that it's a cap hit of $500,000 so it's a it's a very cheap buyout you don't want this guy in your locker room at this point it's going to bring you bad media bad press move on from the guy to cheap buyout no more Jake Vertanen yeah people in the Vancouver Canucks market know that there's been issues with Vertanen for a long time now nothing as as terrible as what he's uh, accused of doing right now what he's allegedly uh, accused of doing right now but there have been they were displeased before all that news came out and you know sixth overall pick in 2014 local guy Vancouver guy and he just never panned out. Exactly. Never reached his potential on the ice and, and wasn't a great community guy or locker room guy anyways. I, I'm su I will be surprised to see if any other NHL team even takes a chance on him. He could be playing overseas until he gains the trust of the National Hockey League, assuming, you know, these legal... Um, well, this, this story isn't true. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised either. Um, you know, if you see Jake Vertanen in the KHL for a year or two, don't be surprised. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, last one for me, Keith Yandel. And this is a player that both you and I have loved throughout... <laughs> Keith <laughs> Yandel. Um, we've we've loved this player, you know, throughout his entire career. You know, obviously with the uh, the then Phoenix Coyotes, now Arizona Coyotes, and his last few years with the Panthers. Sure, slowing down was never like, never had that uh, professional athlete's chiseled body. He's definitely, you know, <laughs> he's he's a hockey player on the back end there. Two more years at six point three three million dollars. The Panthers clearly don't want him in his plan in their plans moving forward. Whether he's not a Quenville guy, whether he's just a little bit too expensive because of goalie Bob making the Florida Panthers not have any wiggle room for any contracts that 
may not be the best. Now, I don't want to say this is a bad contract for Keith because he got 27 points last year in 56 games, 45 points the year before in 69 games. He's a great locker room guy. He's loved league wide and he still has, you know, offensive juice. He still he still has great production. Again, I think it just comes down to this. This organization cannot have room for any contract that's a little bit a little bit too pricey. Well, the Panthers, they've been pretty reckless, honestly, with their contracts the last five, I might even dare say 10 years. So it's kind of, it's come up to the point where, yeah, they can't afford to keep a Keith Yandel. At the end of the day, though, I still think there's a lot of teams out there that would take on Yandel at a cheaper contract. Oh, yeah. They maybe can't trade him right now, but if they buy him out, there's going to be a lineup of teams um, who want him on 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 their roster and i imagine they'll probably pay you know three three point five million dollars for it no i mean for some teams you look at keith yandel he might be their third or fourth defenseman right so he'd be a second pairing guy yeah three four million dollars seems pretty fair power play specialist there you go um so if they do buy him out that's five million dollars in savings two point five million dollars in total savings so 2.5 against the cap and also uh, throughout the two years, $2.5 million in real cash savings okay. for the Florida Panthers, who, again, not are, they have rich owners. They're not the most profitable organization. And, and again, I think whether or not Keith Yando was in the plans for the Panthers moving forward, goalie Bob sealed it in that we just can't pay you that extra money. One last note I want to say on Keith, that he's second in NHL all-time for Ironman streaks at 922 games. You know... If you didn't believe he fell out of favor with the Panthers, I mean, look at the story earlier this season where he was almost a healthy scratch. Now, that would have been a slap in the face to his legacy. A huge slap to the face, and almost a 1,000 games without being interrupted by injuries is is unbelievable. I mean, what kind of Russian gas does this guy have? <laughs> look, one last thing we're not going to get into, but I think it's a given that Tony D'Angelo is going to get bought out of New York. Eh? See ya! That's it for the video today. Tell us how many NHL trophies were in the video. Comment below, smash that like button and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.